Okay. Hey guys. So, it's the second time you see me this week here on YouTube, right? It's so weird because I used to be so, so bad on YouTube. I barely uploaded and then I started being so consistent this past uh, year. And now I'm in quarantine, I've been bored, I have more free time. So, I decided that this week I was going to upload two videos and probably next week too. As long as I'm in quarantine and I have time, I will provide you more content. Now, for this video, I decided to talk to you guys about something that you guys know I'm very passionate about, which is anime. I'm a huge anime fan, I really love watching anime. So I decided to share 10 of my favorite animes with you all, so you guys can watch while you're in quarantine. And this video, please, if you're like an anime super fan, that's like an anime elitist or something, don't come for me. When it comes to anime, in mostly everything in life, everyone has its own likes and opinions, so yeah. Don't need to come for me because I know there are people in the anime world, a lot of discussion about what's better than what, but here I'm just going to show you my favorites, I'm going to show a little bit of everything in case you have different tastes. Are the allergies gone? Can I start? <laughs> okay, let's do this. First one is Naruto. My all-time favorite anime, I gotta tell you. It's a shonen anime, so it's an anime especially made for like young boys, but everyone can watch it, okay? There's a lot of people who love anime and don't like Naruto, and there's people like me that are obviously super obsessed with it. So if you've never watched Naruto, here's why you should watch. It's a little boy that is not your obvious hero, he's not like the best of the class or anything. He works his way up to become uh, a really good ninja. So Naruto, the character, he's very likable and it's one of the reasons why I think it's so easy to, to fall in love with him and the whole anime series because he's very relatable, you know, he's not the typical super perfect guy and he's very funny so you'll definitely be laughing a lot so the entire Naruto series plus Naruto Shippuden which is like the second part it's amazing how the character's development is made so you will probably fall in love with a lot of different characters because they are so charismatic they work really well the concept of good and bad and the thin line between them like no one is totally good or totally bad and that's something I really love about anime and I think it's very good to show your kids and everything. Now, the bad thing about Naruto and that probably a lot of people will tell you is that Naruto is a pretty long series that has a lot of fillers. So fillers are those episodes that the content doesn't really matter for the whole storyline. So you can skip the fillers. I personally watched I think all of them, I don't really care. But if you like anime already and you always wanted to watch Naruto but you never really got into that, this is the perfect timing because you're in quarantine, you're probably bored and it has like a million episodes so... Also Naruto the first season is available in Netflix so you can watch there, it's so much easier. So if you like it and want to watch the Naruto Shippuden, which is the best one for me, you can just use Kiss Anime or Crunchyroll, I don't know, one of the, the websites to watch anime. Now the second anime is Death Note. So Death Note is like... <sighs> I love it so much. Death Note, I think, is the perfect anime for you to start watching anime because I can't believe there's like one person in this world that can watch Death Note and not like it. It's like a, a short anime series that you can watch really easily. It has a really good storyline, only a few characters but well developed. So the storyline is basically a guy that discovers this notebook and he realizes that the notebook has like special power so if he writes a name on the death note that person will die now death note is also available on netflix so you can watch the whole thing there and it's so easy so just go and do it now the third anime is also available on netflix so you can watch the whole thing there it's Assassination Classroom. So I finished watching that anime last month and I really loved it. The main character is like this huge yellow almost kind of emoji-like creature and I'm so used to the very aesthetical uh, boys and girls of anime. I was kind of, mm, should I watch it? I don't know if I'm gonna like it. But little did I know that it's so freaking cool. So the storyline is basically that character is kind of 
a monster, whatever. In this classroom of students, this is like the most bizarre story ever. And the government says that they need to kill that monster until the end of the school year. Otherwise, the monster is going to kill the entire earth. But while they are trying to kill him, they will still have their normal school, so they will still study. And he's actually a really good teacher, so it's very weird. It's such a dark subject as assassination and murder that is developed in such a funny, light way. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. It's a very like easy, fun anime to watch, so... Yeah, give that a try. Now the fourth one is One Punch Man. So One Punch Man I actually watched because of my boyfriend. He really loves this anime and he watched on his own and then he watched it again with me. And first, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't really feeling it. I don't know, maybe because once again, I'm so into that super aesthetic, beautiful anime faces and One Punch Man is like this bald guy with weird eyes. But I give it a try because my boyfriend he really really enjoys his anime and I eventually fell in love with it. It's, it's very fun, especially if your taste on series and all goes more into the comedy side. I think you're going to enjoy it. It's not your typical hero, basically the story is this main character, the bald man. He is so freaking strong and no one knows it. So people don't really recognize him or anything, but it's, he's like the strongest ever. No one, absolutely no one can destroy him. And also One Punch Man is available on Netflix. Now the next one is Psychopath. Psychopath is like a sci-fi thriller anime series. So if you're into sci-fi, I think you're going to like this. This is a more serious, more grown-up anime, so it's not the anime for kids and it's about a society where you have this device that measures your emotional status so if you get a little bit more anxious and emotionally unbalanced and if you have like weird thoughts or dark thoughts your device is going to be like all over the place and you'll probably get killed so if you're more into the thriller dark anime sci-fi this is probably the one for you now the next one is one of the animes that i love so much it's called steins gate i'm a sucker for sci-fi i'm a sucker for time traveling subjects i just love it too much so this was like a gem basically the story is this crazy mad scientist that discovers how to make a time traveling machine that is actually a microwave and all these weird events start happening before he realizes that the microwave caused it I really love the main character I feel it's a very well made character in a very well made anime and please watch it and then let me know how you guys feel about it because I would love to find other Steinsgate fans over there now another one is Tokyo Ghoul Tokyo Ghoul is so cool and so aesthetically pleasing it's very dark, kind of goth it's about this ghouls which they look like humans but they eat people it's a little bit weird but the main character it's almost like half human half ghoul so he kind of sits in between these two clans and he can try to bring peace to the world in a way you truly feel involved it has really good music by the way i don't know i really enjoy tokyo ghoul and i think you guys are going to like it too especially if you guys are more into like the mystery dark horrors you're probably going to like this one the next one is not a series but actually a movie so this movie is called a silent voice so prepare your tissues because this one is for crying crying you're going to cry the storyline is basically this boy in school that used to bully a girl that was deaf and after a few years he meets her again and they are both a little bit more grown up it's just a really cool touching movie that i think is very important to watch because the message is very current and very important it covers mental health and how sometimes you don't really know what's going on inside people's minds so even if you're not into anime at all if you've never watched an anime series you can start by this movie because I think movies might be easier to get into and it's available on Netflix so make sure you go watch it now the number 9 is Food Wars 
This is such a cool anime, one of my favorites too. I really love the characters. In the beginning, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because I thought it was going to be all about food, 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 and it wasn't going to have a, like a very entertaining storyline, but how I was wrong. And yes, it revolves around food, but it's a food school and they are competing and like food for them is like a superpower and they have competitions and you will be very hungry watching this, let me just warn you. Prepare to gain some weight while watching Food Wars, but you can watch it on the other anime streaming websites. And the last one I have for you guys is called Promise Neverland. So this anime is very interesting, very different from the rest I believe and has a really big plot twist just in the beginning because it all starts in this orphanage and they are really small kids, everything looks like it's paradise, they love their mama, the woman that takes care of them plot twist, it becomes very gore and you can clearly see that something is wrong outside so some of the kids start realizing it and they will try to escape or at least discover the truth so it's very interesting and definitely not expected so that was it guys, I shared some of my favorite animes, I hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments which ones have you guys watched already or which ones Will you guys be watching? I really want to know. And also let me know in the comments if you guys want me to share maybe something else like TV series or movies to watch while you're in quarantine. And I will be back next Monday. Don't forget to subscribe guys, I see a lot of you watching my videos without subscribing. Come join our beautiful YouTube family. Bye guys, I love you all. Bye!